In this video, we will show you how to integrate SuperG Server uh, with uh, OpenStreetMap. Now, for the first, we have to add the shape file into the desktop. Okay, now you can look. This is the shape file of the world. And uh, the coordinate system is WGS84 latitude longitude. Then next, we have to select the other different uh, for the Google Map coordinate system. So now we open the folder. And this folder will be um, in here when you install the SuperG server, program file SuperG server API Google Map. Okay. Now we select uh, WGS84 Google's. Click OK. Then now uh, we have to assign another coordinate to layers. Now you can see this is layers. And uh, tap the coordinate system. You select, then browse. Now we select the uh, Google Mercator. Okay, this is a projection name. So we select, then click OK. Then now we zoom to the there, so you can see the map after projected. Okay, this is the projected uh, world map, just like this. So we now we uh, save the file SGD to the C drive, and we create a new folder. That's just a name um, like a GM one, and we save the project file as one. Okay, number one. Let me close it. Okay, next we have to publish the third service. Okay, so we select uh, SuperGeo and uh, select to server. If you are the first time to use this one, uh, SuperG server, you have to run the post installation. Okay, you just uh, click setup provider. When you see this right now, that means you haven't set up well. Okay, you just click a setup provider and install, then click, click start. Okay, now we have the SuperG server service. So we can, um, now we are ready to publish the map service. Now we go to manager. And maybe one or two seconds, you will see a login screen. Okay, now we log in the username and password. Then we log in. Yeah, and we select a publish uh, service. And now you can see the folder, the subfolder public. Okay, this is the previous uh, subfolders here. And for Google Map, uh, you want to, uh, as a background, you have to create a subfolder here. But now we cannot delete it by this way. So we have to, now I show you how to delete the exist subfolder. You just select public, then select the right, the service, and delete it. Now I just delete the subfolder public. Okay, now this is a default resource. And now we new a subfolder named public. P U B L I C. Okay. In our case, then click OK. Then click public. And click new. I mean, I want to uh, add a new main service. You type in the service name as a GM1, GM1. And here, document. You have to type in the full project path and file name. So I go to my computer. Go to the C drive, GM1, and select one. Okay, I copy it. Then add a slash with a one dot SGD. Okay, this is a full pass to publish the service. I copy it, then paste on document line here. Then click OK. 
just a few seconds, you will see a new service here. And click config. Check on use check uh, cache that you define below. Okay. Now, next we have to uh, define the Google Map scale. So now we can refer to the help, server help, server to server help. And we select the integrating with other platform. Okay, now we select the overlay in Google Map on SubG server. Click the okay, click this chapter publishing map cache service. Now, this is a Google Map scale, so we copy it and paste here. Click add and just keep copy the scale number and paste because this is the Google Map scale. Okay, we copy and paste and copy the scale numbers and paste here. Click add. Okay, actually, there are maybe 20 or 21 scale here. So we just, uh, for the practice, I just uh, do the six or five scales here. Okay. Actually, you can, uh, you should uh, keep on the copy and paste the Google Maps scale here. Now, but just for the practice, I just uh, show you the process. Okay, now we go back to the Program files, SuperGeo, Server, Garden API, and uh, Google Map. You can see some additional files here, including the project file and uh, this text file. This text file tell you you should input the scale, the boundary, and origin. Okay, this is original like the, for the Google Map. So you copy this one as the X and paste here, and copy the second one, and paste in Y text box. Yeah, make sure. You have to make sure the two number X and Y is the same as the origin in the text file. And click OK. Yeah, just make sure. Again, uh, as for boundary, I think uh, you can you don't have to change. But here, you change the width as, and the height as 256 and click OK. Create a new website. We select Ultra name as uh, OSM1. Check on support map cache. Then the title text here, OSM1. And check on all the options. Next, and finish. And we right click, manage it. Check on the website if the website is create. Okay, now we see a OSM1. This is the website we just create. And now we move to uh, map cached. We open it with a notepad because we are going to modify something to show the open stream map. The symbol code is in uh, C drive, PowerPoint, uh, Pro program files, server, client API, in the JavaScript, the samples, yes. Yeah. Then predefine the sample 21. Open with Notepad. Okay, now we can see the samples here. We have to copy the two lines. Okay, you can see you have to include those JavaScript. We copy it. And we find uh, somewhere to paste something here. Oh, you have to copy here. Okay, remember to copy the line and include the JavaScript.
okay and now we copy the here this section to here yeah we end it here okay change the variable name as a uh, p layer o and i copy it then we add the there to the map base so we also copy the same line here copy it and paste before we add the uh, server layer okay we add the p layer o copy it and paste it okay now we save it now you can notice that i if you forget to include the javascript files you will not see the OpenStreetMap here because we haven't included uh, we just forget the include the JavaScript uh, file in the header so we go back to here to make sure we have included OpenStreet OpenStreetMap JavaScript okay so we go back to sample 21 make sure to copy this line openstreetmap.js right click copy and paste here enter enter and paste here okay okay you have to remember you have to copy this and paste here and save again now we can go back to the website to reload the website press control with uh, F5 then you can see the map here now this is the map subject server layer with uh, open stream map we zoom in a little bit pan it and uh, zoom and pan here the other side we turn over the first layer first layer is the subject server layer the second layer is OpenStreetMap there here. So you can zoom anywhere, zoom to Europe, Africa, or to anywhere else because it is included from the OpenStreetMap here. You can also check on the first layer which is published from uh, SuperG server. This is your own data. So now we can overlay our own data with OpenStreetMap layer. That's a whole step. Thank you.